Okay, guys, this was a fun project that my students completed last year. So I'm going to get into it and show you how to make a Makey Makey Carnival game. So here's what you're going to need. You're going to need a Makey Makey with three wires, one ground, one on the space bar, and one on the up arrow. Those are going to be your circuits. That's just something to poke a hole with through the cardboard. You also need a wire. About a foot long is good, and make sure both ends are exposed with the metal so that you can <clears throat> wrap it to your metal wires and make your game. You also need a little electric tape to make your barriers in between your circuits. And you need your scissor to cut your three pieces of wire. One small piece, one medium piece for your wand, and one long piece will be the wire that you'll use to get through the game. So let's begin. Let's see. Oh, and you also need your cardboard. You could use a shoe, a shoe box or anything that has a, just, you could hide all the Mickey Mickey stuff underneath it. Okay? So let's see. First, I'm going to make the wand. I take the medium sized one and I just loop it around my finger to make a little loop. And on the other end, I'm going to connect my wire. So I'm going to find my wire somewhere. And now I'm going to connect it to the bottom of my wand. So you see I'm wrapping the metal piece around. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cover it with a piece of um, a piece of tape. A piece of electrical tape. There it is. Okay. What do I do next? <clears throat> well, place that off to the side. Okay, next I'm going to get the wire ready, so I'm going to poke a hole through the cardboard. So I just poke a hole right through the center, and now I'm going to stick the wire through it, <clears throat> and then I'm just going to tape it down with tape. So... Okay, now you see how I flatten it, and now I'm just going to tape it down. And that's going to add as our, you be our first circuit, okay? And we're going to connect that to the space bar of our Mickey Makey. And you see you could turn it up, and then you can play around with that wire and make it any design you like to make it as challenging as you want. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take some tape and I'm going to put it around the bottom of my wire. And I'm going to do that because it needs to be a barrier between the long wire and the short wire that I'm going to put through. Because the short wire is going to be like the end where you win. So those two wires have to be separated. So what I'm doing now is I'm just putting on electric tape because I need there to be a barrier between the two circuits. So I'll put a little tape around there, and then what I'm going to do is poke holes for the next one, for the next circuit. So there's my next circuit wire. So now watch what I do. I just go close to the hole that I made, and I poke two wires. I'm, I'm sorry, two holes. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that short wire, I'm going to bend it in a U shape, and I'm going to put it through both holes that I just made. Now be careful, because when you do this, you don't want these two wires to touch. So you see I have one on one side and one on the other side. That's really important. Now when I flip it over... I take the two ends and I wrap it around the tape so that it does two things. It acts as a reinforcer to help my wire stand up, but the barrier makes it so that I can program the little wire that I'm wrapping around to be the win, 
and the top wire will just be sensing all the, the hits for, for losses. And that's it. Now I just have to connect my wand and then we're ready to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to poke another hole into the cardboard. I'm going to put the wire through. Takes me a little while, but I get there. I was trying to do everything on the camera for you guys. Now what you're going to see me do here is important. I'm going to tie a knot so that if somebody pulls on that wire, it won't just pull all the way through and disconnect my circuit. Now the ground wire is going to be connected to the wand. And what that does is it gives us the connection of both circuits each time we touch the wand to a different wire. So if we touch it to the long wire, it'll score a point against us. And if it touches to the bottom wire, then it'll tell us we win. So now you see I'm putting the ground and I'm connecting it to the metal part of the wand right there. So that's on the other end of the wire. Now let's see, where do I put space bar? On one loop, and I put up arrow on the bottom loop. Now look closely, you'll see they're close, but they are not touching. That's very important. Takes me a little while here, but then you can just set everything up, put everything underneath your box, and then you can play your game like I showed you in the beginning. Okay guys, here's most of the code right here, and you see I wrote it on this little speaker. So when spacebar is pressed, that was our long wire, and that's when we get a laugh, and it, the variable that we made that says we have three turns goes up by one. Then we have when up hour is pressed, play the cheer sound, and broadcast the you win, wait, and stop all. Now when the green flag is clicked, we set the turns back to zero. And then we put our condition, if your turns equal three, then broadcast, sorry you lose, wait, and stop. 